probably the only artist in the world that's been down with No Limit and Young Money and right. you yeah, know. Yeah. Have it, it was thing. tight. I saw I saw a bunch of them fools on the way out when I, I was on my way to my car. I didn't see Pete because he was on stage, but I saw I saw a lot of the homies from from the set, and they still they still love you know. So, how did that go for you getting down with No Limit? That was your first look, really, right? Yeah, well, it got put together. I was always affiliated with No Limit, like in in the family by way of my brother or uh, Soldier Slim, God bless the dead, or uh, like. Just being real cool with C Murder and shit like that. It's just that everybody took an L in in the life, like in, in real life, you know. My brother had a had a record a record label called Tough Guys. Him and his friend Dodo, they were partners with Master P. Dodo and Pete grew up together in Cali, so Pete was giving them some game and helping them get the label going. And that was gonna be how I came about. I was just, you know, my brother Marcelo was popping. I was his little brother, and that was gonna be my way into the game. But then Dodo got killed, so then that's, that that shut tough guys down. And then C Murder stepped in, and he's like, "Yo, you know what I'm saying? I got I I, I got you. I'm gonna look out for you." And then he goes down for murder uh, across that bridge over there at a the nightclub, and he didn't do that, but. Doing the time for it. So then that slowed me down. So then Master P called my mom's house and then was like, Where is he at? And my mom came down the street, like I was like cutting my, cutting like one of my relatives stayed out the street, like cutting the grass or something. She came over, like, Yo, Master P. I'll go talk to him. And uh, I went to Houston that day, the next day, and did like eight records for the 504 Boys album. And then, and that was that. And then, once, once I, I I stepped away from that, you know, to kind of I was gonna go independent. Then, once I I realized like yeah, the way that the structure of this works, I don't have the the time to wait for my turn. Not that I wasn't gonna get a turn, but I didn't have time to wait. So I thought I wanted to go and do my own thing. So in the midst of me being independent, I ran into Wayne at the gas station one day and I'm like, yo, I need to get you on this joint for my uh, album. He was like, why don't you not do that? And we do, you know what I'm saying? He's like, I could do that or we could do some shit. And I was like, all right. So I fucking went to Miami and we did this shitload of records like every day. And then, I mean, it always was burning in my mind that I knew what I needed to do. So I had to dip to, to, to set up my own thing, but I did it in a good way, and I never had shit to say about nobody bad, because everybody always showed me love, you know what I'm saying? So, luckily everything worked out for me, and now it's not nothing for us to, you know, to jam up to. I mean, if he said, oh, here come another New Orleans legend, and then brought me out, then that's tight. Hospital got a flow so proper, all these girls watching me like soap operas. Hey, in drugs, bitches, liquor. Money, drugs, bitches, liquor. Money, drugs, bitches, liquor. Hey, let's have ourselves fun.